How's it going, everybody? Joker here, bringing you for the second day in a row pure unbridled madness. <laughs> I can't wait to get into the Nightmare Fuel game yet again. Hopefully we'll get some more demented moments popping up in this episode. If you haven't seen episode one of Joker's Mom, <laughs> then go back and check it out. And if you'd like to stay up to date with our plans for the channel, then feel free to follow us on Instagram. Now let's dive back into the horror of H.P. Lovecraft's Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty interesting for a start. I thought it would have been a little more boring. Alright, let's see what it says here. Chapter 2. That was the first chapter? Alright, well, that was, uh... Okay. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label in a dress, a warehouse set on the dock of an island of dark. Huh. Time for Pierce to mess it. Well, okay, I mean. So what am I supposed to do here? I'm, I'm supposed to just find her killer or prove that she didn't die or that it was an act? What am I supposed to be proving here? That a cult killed her or Cthulhu or what? What am I proving? Why is this load screen taking so long? Those bones? Whale bones? Oh, like in Far Harbor. Which, if you didn't know this already, Far Harbor, Apocrypha, all the Bethesda creepy crawly things such as that, are all pretty much based on Lovecraftian writings. Ooh, the mist. Which is stinky. Ooh, that was a fish! That looked like a fishman's head. What do you call them? Um, 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 uh. Inns and outlets, right? Wonder how many of them are on the island. Focus on interacting presents. Vice to another, one from whiskey, and since I cut him off, he'd switched over to smoking. And I know I may sound like a gravelly voice smoker, but I assure you, I have not smoked at all in my life. We're almost there. Alright, good to know. Didn't know you could see anything in the fog. Oh! Okay, there's something. Cliffs? Mountain? Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> the Scylla. Skyla? Skilla? Scylla. I think that would be pronounced Scylla, S-C-Y-L-A, Scylla. But I'm going to be wrong. Stay on board. Don't tell me what to There's do. guy's coming to unload. Oh, he's talking to his crew, okay. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. Why, 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 thank you. <laughs> Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. 
Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Okay, Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, <laughs> but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbour Master's office. Stranded Whale. <laughs> and there's a Stranded Mr. Whale Hawkins on the beach! <laughs> you here. I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Alright, so... Let's see, this is going to be very detective-like. Kind of like, um, blah, blah, blah. Life is Strange. Like that game, so... Investigate every fucking thing before you talk to the single Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Prohibition a joke? Well, of course it's a joke. Do I go in the bar, or do I go to the whale? Do I go to that guy? Or there, or... Uh, we'll just spin around a little and... Okay, guess we're heading up here. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Did I read that? Oh, no. Cat. Oh, that's cool. Um. Uh, Captain, the terms of the bar. Keep your clear. Keep your mind under control. You can't afford to provoke us in the events. Huh. Cat. Cat. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Well, I'll hate to break it to you, but these look like maps. Not a... Oh, is that a desk? Uh, of course, I'm blind. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. They crossed out? Why? 1890 to 1907. Hmm. A Scylla. It finished Ooh. on the beach at the entrance. Well, to the I was hall. right. Scylla. Thought I would have been wrong. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. Okay, a sperm whale. Uh, I can't read that one. Blue whale? Pink whale? It's a whale. Looks like a blue whale, but I can't make out the word before it. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Had a lot of something here. Toilet and... The hell? Okay, well, we're closing that. Nothing to see here. Move along. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Hmm. What a macabre souvenir. M what? What a macabre souvenir. Macabre? Macabre? It's not a tuba cabra, dumbass! 
Not macabre, it's macabre. Ma cab. You don't pronounce the R and the E, that's just not right. Macabre, not macabre. Punk. Alright, well, we'll talk to him later. Go to the bar, talk to Bradley. Is that the guy who owns the bar? Well, I'm clearly not liked already. Now that's just rude. <laughs> hey, be careful. Oh, that's probably the cat. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. It was me who I was looking for. This guy didn't show respect. I'm new here, so... Pure instinct. I behaved like a hun. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. I'm try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. That'll be all for now. I'll talk to you in a bit. Shut that, I can feel the draft. <laughs> the miraculous catch. catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Hmm. All right, if you want, you can pause the video right now and read this on your own. I'm just going to do a quick speed read. What remains of it? Hanging off the side of the ship? Damn, what do they catch, Moby Dick? Or his dad or mother or what? Surviving the sailors and the flaming a plentiful nutritional unmatched in its quality. Oh, so an entirely different breed of whale. Uh huh. All right. Um, And a warehouse for rent. We're going to ignore that. Anything in here? Ooh. That could be useful. Can't use them, but it could be useful. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. With its own consciousness, no reader? Oh! Must be talking about the Necronomicon, right? Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. Oh, yeah, he's definitely talking about the Necronomicon. You like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. 
there were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? Where the proof? Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Well, that's a little rude. I thought all three of them would have said something. Hmm. Whatever. All right, let's, um... Ooh, coffee, right. Captain Fitzroy. Oh, this is a tab. Okay. Miss Baker always free for the... What? For the day? What does that say? Miss Baker always free for... The day. The... What is that? A 10? A D and a Y? Okay. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe he killed the family. You again. What can I get you? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. <clears throat> Charles Hawkins owed you a lot of money. Do you know if he had problems? I don't know the details, and it's not my business. Money or not, he was always welcome in my bar. The Hawkins family was always much appreciated on the island. Hmm. You seem to know Charles Hawkins well. How about his wife, Sarah Hawkins? Well, she was a local somebody. We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. I've got what I need. Anything else? I read the article on the Miraculous Catch. Interesting local folklore. Don't get it into your head to repeat that round here. It's more than folklore. On that day, 
the crew of the Scylla caught an exceptional catch. The biggest whale ever caught. And they saved dock water from famine. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? Hmm. And that's not all. Sounds like my kind There's of place. The of its owners <laughs> and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? That'll be all for now. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer whales have few predators. And there are no sharks in these waters. What creature could possibly have done this? You can't understand. You're not sailors. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. You can't understand. Don't I'll blow it out to the rest, you You're crazy. You're the kind of people I can't stand. And then again, he is arguing with them. Yeah. Nah. Flat food. Pin my ass. From uh, here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war friends don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Hmm, Lindsay Lohan? <laughs> the Hawkins family. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I was looking at your photograph, the one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I already read that. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. I examined its wounds. I know of no creature able to cause them. 
And I took you for a detective. Believe me when I say that these wounds are significant. Come, come. You've only just arrived on Darkwater, and already you think like a sailor. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Hmm. Sounds a little suspicious. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. All right, Stace. Where do you think you're going? I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? You and I are on the same side of the law. Oh yeah? You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying our work was not up to snuff? Forget it. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor, leave him well alone. Hmm. So it does have writing. What is this? Oh, oh god, what the hell do they call this in in um, Lovecraft? Um Relayan. Relayan? Relayan? Something like that. Oh shit. Oh, they act okay, so they graffitied him and they actually took his face off. Well, is he supposed to look like he's wearing a sack over his head? Sack over his head, like those, um, those creepy guys in the dream. The faceless ones. St. Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. Looks like Phoenician. Or a very primitive runic script. I've never seen anything like it. You say primitive, but uh, that, that implies a lack of understanding. This is very well, very well written. They all have some sort of meaning to them. Oh, what's the green stuff? Oh, a lantern. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What is this? A lock. Hmm. hmm. Let's give it a try. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There.
Hello, old friend. Ooh, a bottle of liquor. Okay, so bootleggers, huh? That's where they're storing it. You're back again. What can I do for you? Apparently the bootleggers don't want anyone hanging around the warehouses. They're part of the private property I mentioned earlier. And yet mm -hmm. the place looks abandoned. Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by old sewers. You mean that there's a way to go from one to the other by tunnel? I couldn't tell you if it's still the case today for all the warehouses on the island. But I think I can imagine what you've got in mind. You can always visit them if you're not the claustrophobic type. Alright, well... All I have to do is turn this handle. Okay, please don't break, please don't break. Oh, yes! <laughs> I'm home free! All right. I'm down here. Oh. Uh, should I use my lighter? Or would everything go up and... <coughs> Okay, we're going to turn that out. <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> well, it might be. And there's a lantern. So, all lanterns are filled with this oil, or what? <coughs> okay. Okay, we're going to have to just run out of here somehow. Okay, we're in water. Still see that smoke, so it's not really diluting it at all. What the fuck? No, 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 no! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ah! <laughs> oh shit! Okay! What in the hell? Where am I? <laughs> Seaweed. Okay, um, I don't think I want to be here anymore. Can I run? We're going to put, we're going to put that out. Can I put it out? There we go. Hmm. And prints. Big green spiral. Fisherman? This is primitive. That's all you can say? You don't know what the hell it is? Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? What happened here? Angry by his face? Perhaps he was mutilated or something. These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins' death. Interesting. And a bunch of dead things. It smells as bad as it looks. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. This has to be because of bandages. Okay, underwent a form of surgery, but didn't look good afterwards. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? So this is Sarah Hawkins' home, or or this is. 
Maybe Charles Hawkins isn't dead. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Well, yes, it is, you dumbass. I mean, we just established that. Oh, so Charles Hawkins survived the fire, had some sort of surgery, but he didn't turn out quite right, so that pissed him off, obviously. And this is what he looks like. So prophetic painting. Oops, wrong one. Am I right? I must be right. You know I'm right, honey. Someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! The Hawkins case has been wound up. Let the dead rest in peace. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Okay. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. All right. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Your turf? My understanding. Is it far? The warehouse does not belong to you. Uptight bitch. Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's no, the that's, man. that's not Come on, we got some driving to do. Not in slightest. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? We analyzed, disduced, broke into a warehouse, and survived an attack from killer seaweed. <laughs> if you've enjoyed our second episode of Joker's Mom, then hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified of our next video. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you here next time on The Morbid Veil. Vale. <laughs>